So hi again, Tom. We agree that once a week we'd come together for a very brief chat about one of the questions, uh, one of the fundamental questions around leadership. And today my question for you is, are leaders born or made? But before we get on to that, it's a slightly binary question suggesting you're either this or that and there's no gray area. So the, a more positive way of putting that question is maybe, do you think that people can develop their leadership skills over time? Well, when you, it, it's a good way to frame the question, but of course it's, it's, it's not what people like to hear today. We, we live in a world when things are, are um, right or they're left, they're black or they're white. Uh, people need a, a, a kind of simplicity of approaching things. But uh, we are complex beings. And so I think that, I mean, the very short answer is yes, absolutely. We can develop leadership. Uh, and uh, I think um, rather like in, in nature, you, you cast your seeds and some uh, fall on, on concrete. Um, I think because in modern day today, we're, 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 there's less stony ground and more concrete, uh, <laughs> um, which you could say is as a result of some very poor lead leadership. And, uh, and also from uh, leaders who, um, just because you're a charismatic person and you ha are born with more uh, facilities around good leadership, doesn't mean to say that you're a good leader. So I think the whole study of leadership and um, the, the, the interactions that we have and how people respond to us is a, is a great exploration. So, so very definitely um, leadership can be developed in, in everybody and it's a different journey for each person. I think that's a very good point you made about charisma because while it's true that many of the great leaders throughout history, whether they're religious leaders or more recent historical figures like Martin Luther King or Gandhi or Mandela obviously have charisma. We also have plenty of examples of people both in the past and in the present in recent British and one might argue American history where people have a certain kind of charisma but use it very badly or uh, simply become quite poor leaders. So they use that charisma to mobilize a crowd. And one can think even of people like Hitler, obviously a guy with charisma because he managed to mobilize an entire nation, but to very poor ends. So we're focusing on the people who have got a will maybe to lead and want to be good leaders and that we can help them over time develop certain aspects of their character. And it's never going to be a straight linear journey. You're never going to have a journey from, I didn't know that, and now I know it, and now I apply it. It's going to be a lot more to do with becoming aware of things, trying them out, falling back, two steps forward, one step back, and then ultimately maybe learning to make them part of our practice. Yeah. Uh, I. I... I agree with pretty much everything you've said there, but I, I think it's interesting about, you talk about will, uh, the, the will to lead. And I, I think actually in some of the comments that we've already seen in the leadership, uh, where, where people have said, well, I don't see myself as a leader. Uh, and uh, I, I think that if you engage in a, in a, in a journey of self-exploration, you will learn certain things about yourself. And perhaps there's something that comes out that you don't see in yourself that other people do. I think there's, 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 there's lots of examples where people have um, not looked for, for leadership positions or that, that um, sort of being seen on a, on a pedestal in a sense, but their actions, how other people have seen as leadership and have responded that, to that. That's a very good point. And I take that kind of um, that modification because I personally, and the word will has its own dubious connotations. One thinks of the triumph of the will, Lenny Riefenstahl, for example, things like that. So it's less about that than more about um, in certain circumstances, people have leadership kind of thrust upon them. 
And as you say, they weren't even aware of it. And suddenly they find themselves, and this is exactly my story, in a position where you've got a lot of people who are within your organization, who are somehow uh, you're responsible for, not in every aspect of their life, clearly, but in some ways and some parts of your job, and certainly who you're accountable to. So leadership can pop up and surprise you at a point where you never really set out to, or you never had an ambition to lead others. Yeah, uh, yes. And uh, I think that quite often in, in life, it's disasters that bring out leadership. You, and, you know, I, I posted about Grenfell Tower. There are leaders of some of the groups who are crying out for action right now. Some of them are amazing leaders, and they they've had no training, they've had no development. They're just they've they've been led by a kind of sense of outrage or or injustice. I think that's a that's a it's an interesting driver a motivator is a sense of injustice because that does bring out um, the, the the more raw leadership uh, skills uh, and stature that. Uh, that that actually brings about change. Yeah, absolutely. And I, just a, as, as a final point, I would say that many of the organizations I work with, NGOs, many of them are in the States and they're dealing with large numbers of refugees from cultures which are quite different, you know, whether it's Somalia from Afghanistan, Sudan, whatever. And all of them, all of the best ones, have created leaders within those communities so their job is not to teach the communities or enhance them in any way but to give leadership support to people who've naturally emerged many of them women many of them without a particular uh, strong university or education or professional background but they emerge as strong people who shine a light somehow and make it easier for others to coalesce around them and again that's something that we can be looking at within this group is not just uh formal leadership but the kind of leadership that kind of emerges organically and naturally yes yes indeed so going back to your original question uh leader leadership can be developed and and i guess leadership can emerge when the circumstances create create that the the need for leadership and some people naturally will stand up uh and they they may never have seen themselves or not even been seen as leaders up until that moment so it's Absolutely. it comes from in many different ways great well let's wrap up there for today and we'll be back next friday and every friday with a little musing on some aspect of the leadership as you said last week Okay, bye for now, Tom. Bye, bye.